The banking system is on the verge of being disrupted by cryptocurrency. Advocates claim that the present financial system can be made more efficient, accessible, and faster through blockchain technology. Welcome to Altcoin Bull, the most popular crypto educational channel on YouTube. We're talking about decentralized finance or DeFi, a financial system without banks. Automated smart contracts or computer code are used instead. DeFi offers the same services as a typical financial institution, such as high-yield savings, borrowing, lending, trading, and investing. Although decentralized finance holds just 5% of the crypto market, it has seen a significant increase in demand. It was just three years ago that there was just $4 billion worth of DeFi assets in the crypto market. Lawmakers and the banking industry are keeping a close eye on decentralized finance. An ecosystem of financial apps and initiatives created on top of blockchain technology is known as DeFi. Since no traditional financial institution is involved, you may interact with anybody you choose without having to go through a middleman. This eliminates the need for intermediaries. You and the other person's agreement is mediated by the smart contract, which is a self-executing contract based on code that provides the contents of the agreement. The majority of DeFi initiatives are based on Ethereum, which was one of the first programmable blockchains to support smart contracts. The majority of DeFi protocols are administered by their community, a decentralized autonomous organization or DAO. Only members who have purchased a token for a specific project are eligible to vote on the protocol's future. It takes control away from a single individual. The cryptocurrency sector arose in response to the financial crisis of 2008. DeFi's goals are based on this, and it aims to provide people power and visibility over their own money without the involvement of a third party. A mainstream user can choose to utilize these protocols directly or indirectly by utilizing some of the conventional financial intermediaries at the same time. Interest rates and decentralized financing began to rise in the summer of 2020. In June 2020, the total value locked in the space climbed from $7.8 billion to $19.4 billion in September 2020. The total value lock stats is used to determine how much crypto is committed to a project smart contract. Between 2008 and 2020, we saw the rise of automated market makers, which for the first time bootstrap liquidity and allow these decentralized exchanges to become much more liquid than they were previously. At the same time, we saw an increase in user front-end development, making these applications much easier to use. The majority of DeFi initiatives and protocols fall into one of four categories, decentralized exchanges, lending platforms, asset management, and derivatives. During the DeFi summer, decentralized exchanges and lending platforms saw the biggest growth. DEXs or decentralized exchange are cryptocurrency exchanges that allow users to trade without handing over control of their funds to a third party. Uniswap is one of the most popular DEXs, an Ethereum-based automated market maker system that has increased in popularity owing to its liquidity offers. So whereas many crypto assets try to do everything, Uniswap focuses on one thing, competing with Coinbase. This is noteworthy since Uniswap has a large trading volume. It trades 40 to 50 billion dollars worth of cryptocurrency every month. Hundreds of millions of dollars in fees are generated. The Securities and Exchange Commission is now investigating the creator of Uniswap, Uniswap Labs. Anyone may borrow and lend cryptocurrency using decentralized finance. When users lend their assets, they can earn interest. They may also use their present cash as collateral to borrow additional cryptocurrencies. Collaterals can be crypto assets like Ethereum's so-called stablecoins, 
Our protocol allows suppliers to give these types of assets into the protocol. And then other participants may take those monies out of the protocol against collateral, resulting in a profit for the suppliers. It's a location where you may earn interest on your crypto assets. DeFi continues to grow, and when it grows from 100 billion to 600 billion, banks will have to recognize that there is serious competition as assets migrate into the DeFi ecosystem and out of their hands. Wall Street professionals and developers alike have been drawn to decentralized finance. It has elevated crypto's potential from that of digital money to that of software tool that can be utilized to modernize the outdated financial system. Ethereum's programmability is the reason behind this. Traditional financial people are excited about crypto because it solves all of these problems. It allows money to move onto the internet. It allows you to program money. It creates digital property rights. It introduces efficiency. And it has the potential to disrupt an industry that is one of the least efficient in the world. As interest rates stay low, investors have been on the lookout for income. DeFi protocols have provided chances to pursue yield through a process known as staking. You can stake a lot of these assets and get a return. Hedge funds, for example, are among the institutional investors that have begun to enter the market. They can take more risk and explore more because they can take greater risk. One of the main reasons is the high demand for leverage. Many of these protocols allow you to unlock capital. And when you deposit crypto assets into another protocol, you're borrowing cash. This means you'll need crypto stable coins, which means the yield and cost of that cash will rise. And the typical use case is that you take the cash and buy more of the particular asset, resulting in a leverage position. In the automobile sector, decentralized finance is comparable to the electric car. Automakers will continue to build vehicles, even though electric ones. On the other hand, regulatory issues continue to plague the cryptocurrency market and may prevent DeFi's expansion. Because a lot of this is a decentralized open source system, there isn't a lot of KYC implementation that could be collected. So a more complex model and a new regulatory framework are likely to be required. There may be instances where this infringes on DeFi and harms some DeFi assets, but there may also be instances where you develop a more mature DeFi ecosystem and see increased growth. Because of the absence of regulation, investors and users are left with no protection or insurance if they lose their Bitcoin in a protocol or by lending assets to another user. The danger is well acknowledged. The crypto markets remain turbulent for traders. A 30% price decline in Ether in March 2020 caused panic in the default environment in protocols like MakerDAO. Some investors have lost all of their assets. MakerDAO, which was formerly seen as the DeFi poster child, has been reprimanded for failing to adequately explain the risk to investors. According to MakerDAO co-founder Rune Christensen, the protocol was prepared for this incident and was able to recover from it. Because of the mega protocol, the entire space was able to recover very immediately. After that, the maker procedure and the community were able to assess the problem and made enhancements to cope with such conditions in the future. DeFi Summer didn't solve these problems and it may have even contributed to the emergence of gambling protocols in some sections of the space. According to industry observers, MakerDAO's resurgence proves DeFi's strength and potential. Decentralized organizations have a lot of evolutionary potential since defeats become an essential learning opportunity to overcome the problem and build resilience. It will take some time for DeFi to be utilized in the real world. But as the crypto industry matures, investors will continue to bet on it. The crypto sector and the institutional investors are looking at this market for the long term. And I believe that if you have the patience to wait, you'll be able to see which businesses can weather the storm 
and emerge victoriously. Once again, this is your Altcoin Bull Channel, bringing you the best and most updated news and trends in the crypto world. If you like this video, don't forget to subscribe and hit the notification bell. Premium. Thank you and see you in the next video.